Joseph, Mr. Nixon. Nixon, you got a cool cut, man. Nice to see you. Me too. I was feeling so long hair hippie ish. I had to get a haircut. Actually, what it was is Mrs. Rowe took a picture and my, my head looked so bald. I just shaved everything else down really low. So that's what it was like. Hey, Miss Galia. Nice to see you. All right, you guys ready to get some dodging in? Got to do some dodging. Okay. Uh, make sure I don't lose this ball. Hello. Ready? Uh, Kalia. Whoa, that almost slipped. <laughs> I think, did your dad try to hold you? Ah, that's awesome. Nixon. Oh, oh, and Benjamin. Good job, good job. Ah, my hands are slick. Nixon, Catalina, Joseph, Nixon, Catalina, Joseph, Nixon, Catalina, Catalina, Nixon, Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. Catalina! Nixon! Miss Jennifer! Miss Gillian! <laughs> Throwing lots of dodgeballs at everybody. <laughs> Miss Catalina, go. Nice. <laughs> oh, somebody! Nixon! I forgot to say who it was for. <laughs> Joseph! Whoops, watch over the wall. Oy. And Catalina. Nixon. Come on, this job. Get, get on it. I'm scared. I'm scared. Uh, Nixon. Joseph. Catalina. Whoa. The land is getting to doing redo their floors over there. Nice job, you guys. Looks good, Mr. Mark. Good work, dude. Uh, Nixon. Joseph. Catalina. Oh, okay. oh, was that a forward roll that I see? Good forward roll, girl. Holy. Nixon. Okay, who's gonna do the cartwheel? Oh, Nixon did the roll. Good work. I was looking for a cartwheel. Joseph. Nice spin. Okay, who's doing a cartwheel? Kalia. Oh, good work. Good work. Nixon. Oh, good rolls, you guys. Joseph. Joseph. Nice, Joseph with the roll, I like it. Catalina, 30 more seconds. Nixon. Joseph. Oh. Catalina. Nixon. Joseph. Whoa, that one went sailing high. Okay. Uh, John, because you're on. Mr. Bryson, my Rona partner. How you doing? Uh, Kelly. Good. Nixon. <laughs> Joseph. Dominic, 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 you can't hear me. Woohoo, Bryson, nice. Catalina, okay, last one. Are you guys all ready? You're all moving. Three, two, one, go. 
Nice rolls. Good rolls. Oh, Miss Jillian is a non basketball player. Well, okay, that was a problem. That wasn't bad. We'll move that out of the way. All right. How's everybody doing? Hello, Miss Danielle. Nice to see you. Dodgeballs rolling in behind me there. Like asteroids. Okay. Ready, standing tall. We are going to get started. So, just before we start, something that you might need, uh, if you have a partner or somebody who's gonna hold something for you, you might need a cushion so you can punch or kick that cushion. You don't need it. Uh, if you're in a sort of on your own, that's okay too, because we're gonna be able to do it just like this. Um, you're gonna be just fine. Ready? Face the front. Kick it. Kanye. Awesome. Have a seat down, please. Sit up nice and tall, close your eyes. All right, let's open your eyes. How's everybody feeling? Everybody feeling okay? Kind of, is anybody feeling a little bit down, a little bit sad? So, Callie is feeling pretty good. Two thumbs up. Yeah, Joseph's thumbs up. Nixon, your double thumbs. John's up. I see some of the, the Aurora is down. Dominic is high. Athena is sort of mixed. Danielle is up. Bryson, what were you again? Were you down or side or sideways? Kind of down? Okay. So how do you, what do you do to change your thumb from being down to being sideways? And if you're feeling sideways, how do you turn it to facing up? What do you guys think? What are some things? Can you tell me? So let me ask you this. I'm going to ask for, for your input. Okay, one sec. Uh, let's start with Mr. Nixon. One second. Okay. Nixon, you're muted. Thanks, Mr. Brody. Okay, Nixon, what do you do? Should I give my mom and my dad a hug? Oh, yeah. Hugs are always good, right? Okay. So hugs are good. That definitely helps. Uh, John, what do you do when you're feeling kind of down you want to get feel better? I feel better, but what's the other thing? Making art. Art, yeah. Drawing or coloring. Awesome job. I like that one. Mr. Bryson, what do you do? One uh, second. Play with my sister. You play with your sister? Well, that's really nice. Okay. Uh, Miss Danielle? Go ahead. What do you uh, do? I do. I put plates on the, on the table. You put plates on the table? Yeah, okay. That makes you feel better. I like it. Uh, Mr. Joseph, you had your hand up. You had your hand up. What do you think, Mr. Joseph? What do you think, Mr. Joseph? Um, hug to mom a lot. Hug to mom a lot, yeah. Hug to mom a lot. Let's go to the Landry family. One sec, Dominic, you go first. Um, I play with my sister. Okay, so you play. Uh, Miss Athena, what do you do? Um, I like. Oh, we can't hear you. You got to speak up really loud. Nicely, like you 
Okay, hold on. Uh, Aurora, what do you do? You gotta speak really loud. Not sure? Okay, we're gonna go on to Miss Catalia. What do you do when you're feeling kind of down? Oh, gotta speak really loud, sweetie. I go in my room and I hold my puppy. Nice. Okay. So, for those of you maybe couldn't hear everybody, here are some of the things that people do. They hug their parents, moms, dads, and everybody else, right? So that's a good thing to do. Um, Miss Catalina said she goes to her room and sort of just hangs out by herself and plays with her stuffy. Is that right? Did I get that right? Yeah. So she goes off by herself and takes a little bit of time just for her, and that's good, right? John does, again, he does it by himself. He does some art. Maybe he doesn't do it by himself, but he does some art. He draws or he colors. Those are all really good things, right? Or maybe you just be of service. You help somebody else. So if you're feeling kind of down, one of the things that you need to do is find out how you transit, how you start to feel happier. And it might be being with somebody else, hugging mom and dad. It might be just going off by yourself and giving yourself time to think, uh, doing some art or listening to music or reading a book or even playing a video game. Sometimes all of those things can help you feel better. But one thing you we wanna work hard to not do, okay? Are you ready for this? We don't wanna do this. We don't wanna react with just emotion so meaning, if somebody says something to you, say your brother, your sister, or your family does something, they say something, you don't want to just get mad and say, bah, and act like that. Does anybody ever do that? Do you guys ever do that? Somebody says something, you just get mad? Yeah, we probably all do. We probably all do, okay? But we want to try hard to not do that. We want to try hard to not react emotionally when somebody does something we don't like. We want to try and react and actually respond calmly by just doing this first. Watch. Here's the secret. You guys ready for this ninja skill? Here's what happens. Miss Jillian does something that really bothers me. Here's what I do first. Wait, watch. Watch. This, this is super secret. Nobody really knows this. This is a trick. Did you see what I did? I took a deep breath. Yep, breathe deep. And then now you can try and respond calmly. Maybe you have to take two deep breaths or three deep breaths or four deep breaths. Maybe it's 10, depending on how upset you get. Maybe it's five, yep, could be five or 10, all right? So we're gonna work on our green shirt, which is for our control. And part of our control has to come from our emotions as well, right? We don't wanna to get too sad or too angry, but guess what? We also don't wanna go the other way and get too silly. We wanna be in control of our emotions. It's okay to be silly, but when mom or dad or grandma and grandma come along and say, okay, Miss Danielle, it's time to get focused, you have to be able to switch from being silly to being focused, right? So that's kind of what we're going to work on today. We're going to work on our control. We're going to play this game called fast and slow, meaning we're going to throw punches either fast or slow. And I'm going to count. So I might count. We're going to do five punches. And I say one, two, three. Yeah, like that, Dominic. Four, five, right? So see, I went slow and then I went fast. And then I went slow again, but I was always in control. So you have to be in control. You can't get too crazy with your punches. We're gonna play this other game called kick on point, where you are gonna throw some kicks. This is where you might want a pillow or something like that to kick, but you have to kick with the proper part of the foot. We have to control our body as well as our emotions, how we feel, and also our mind or thinking. Okay? And we're gonna play this other game called hit or miss, all right? But we're gonna start by doing slow and fast. So let's stand up nice and tall. Let's do our tennis. Are you ready? Hands out front. Say them with me nice and loud, please, as loud as you can. Yell them if you can. Courtesy. 
respect thyself and others. Hands on your hips. Integrity. Honesty with myself and others. Hands on front. Perseverance. Patience. Never, never, never give up. Hands behind our back. Self-control. Control my thoughts, emotions, actions, and results. Hands up high. Indomitable spirit. Be guided by my heart. Let's exercise. Right toes and left toes. Right ankles have great balance. Left ankles even better balance. Knee bands halfway. One, two, three. All the way down. One, two, and three. Circle our knees. One, two, three. Other way. One, two, three. Now our hips. Hula, hula, hula. Both ways. Good, push your head forward and relax. Push it to the back. Relax to one side, to the other side. Forward, back, side, side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Jump to the spot. Wiggle those hands. Now's the time to be a little bit silly. Wiggle those arms. Spin in a circle if you want to. Go, 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 and stop. Good control. Twist your body side to side. Nice control, everybody. Good control. That's it. It's okay to be silly. But when it's time to get control, we got to get control. And stop. Feet together. Good work. Put your elbows on your knees. All reaching down towards your toes. Straighten your legs up. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Standing tall. All right, are you ready? Hands up. Hands up by your chin. Remember, this game is called slow or fast. I'm going to count. We're going to count up to six. We're gonna do six punches. And we might go slow or we might go fast. If I count fast, you punch fast. But only the number that I count. So if I said one, you punch one. If I said two, three, shh, shh, we do two of them, yeah? Then if I said four, five, six. Yeah, that's it. So just like that, okay? Good test. Ready, hands up. I'm gonna count to six. Are you ready? Hands are high. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice, switch your feet for me. If you haven't, right, make sure we keep one leg in front, one leg in back. Let's start again, we're gonna go six punch. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six. Oh, good. On that six, pull it back super fast, right? If I said four, oh, there we go, slow. Five, bang, fast. Touch your feet. All right, I need a number. Uh, let's see. Because I saw Mr. Bryson at Rona this morning at early time, holy smokes, like eight o'clock in the morning. Mr. Bryson, how many punches should we do? Show me with your fingers. Show me with your fingers. How many do you think? Ten? Okay, let's do ten punches, Bryson. Got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good work. Okay, switch your feet. Let's see. Hmm. Miss Catalina, how many punches have we got? Show me your fingers. You can only go up to 10. How many you got? How many you got? Seven punches. Okay, ready. Hands are up. One, two, three, four. Five. Six, seven. Nice works with your feet. <laughs> All right, I need another number. Mr. Nixon, you had your hand up before. How many punches do we got? Up to maximum 10. Yeah, 
10. I like it. Here we go. Hands are up high. Get ready to move fast. Are you ready to move fast? But be in control. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Nice. That one, I went fast through the ball. Okay. Mm. I need another number. Okay, Mr. Joseph, show me. What do you got, sir? How many? Show me with your fingers. What do you got? Ten. I like it. I like it. Lots of punches. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I got all crazy in that one. Okay, Mr. Aurora, how many punches we got? Show me. Got your fingers? Ten. You guys are all of in your tens. Okay, here we go. Ten punches. Stay the count. Ready? Be fast. Be fast. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> nice head switch. Okay. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Uh, let's see, Miss Danielle. Last one. How many? Show me your fingers. One. One. For serious. One punch. Okay. Okay, one punch. It better be a good punch, Miss Danielle. It better be a perfect punch. Here we go. One punch. Nice. Okay. All right. Good work on that control. No one got too silly except for probably myself. That's good. Let's play the next scene called Kicks on Point. So here's what we're going to do. Um, let's all do this together. Onto the ground. I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see. And I'm going to turn sideways. Okay, we're sitting on the ground. Hands are back. Kind of like we're going to do a bridge like that motion. But we're not doing that. But we're in that same position, right? Our thumbs on the ground, hands back, feet are up. So we're going to kick with one foot, but we're going to reach out with our ball of foot, our bottom of our foot. Okay? So if I borrow Miss Jillian for a second, she's gonna grab a shield for me. Oh, she's gonna cut in front of the camera. Miss Jillian. All right, so what? She's gonna go behind me now. Oh, yeah, she did. Okay, so as Miss Jillian's coming towards me, as I do that kick, only my toes, see my heel is not getting the, in the bag? Only my toes are. I'm reaching with the underside of my foot. We call it the ball of our foot. So we don't want to go too flat with our pet. So if you have someone who's going to hold a pillow for you, we just want to hold it flat like that. And I'm going to try and reach out and touch her with my foot. Okay? I'm going to reach out and touch with my foot. We're going to do it because you guys all want to do 10 kicks or 10 punches. We're going to do 10 kicks. Are you ready? Front kicks. We're going to lift one foot out. One. And then the other two. Okay? Here we go. I'll count. Let's kick. One, boom, two, three, four, five. Reach with those toes. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent job. Excellent job. Okay. We're going to make one little change to this. Those are good kicks, you guys. Nice job. I really like that. So we're gonna make one little change. And the little change is, we're now gonna lift our backsides off the ground. So we're doing the same thing, we're still kicking, still doing front kicks. But now instead of kicking with my butt on the ground, I'm gonna lift my hips up, and I'm gonna kick. And I'm gonna sit back down. And I go up, and I kick with my other leg. And I go back down. Still doing 10 kicks, we're gonna lift our hips each time as we kick. Okay, let's get ready to count. Remember, be in control. Body, ready to kick. Let's do it. Hands are up. 
I guess hands are back for this one. And we count one, boom, you still gotta come a little closer. Two, three, lift your hips up, kick four. Nice, hips up, five, hips up, six, hips up, seven, that's it. Hips up, eight, hips up, nine. One more, hips up, 10, and down. Nice work, you guys. Double thumbs up for all of you. Good work. Okay. So now we're going to change the kick from a front kick like we just practiced to a turning kick. This one's really tough. We always seem to struggle with this one a little bit. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to go on one side like this. We're going to sit on our side. Okay. And then it's my top leg when it's going to kick. So I'm going to just sort of switch this way a little bit. And I'm going to go down on my elbow as well. Kind of like I'm sitting up. And my top leg is just going to kick out one. I bring that foot back. Two. I can also turn my toes in. Three. Four. Five. Just like that. Okay? We're going to do five with one leg. Then switch to the other side. And do five more. Okay? Ready. So we're getting ready to... Up on our elbow, can we stand your turn more to your side? So only one arm on the ground. That's it. Leg up. And we're gonna kick out. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, a little bit of pepper on that last one from Miss Jelly. Now we gotta switch over to our other leg. So I gotta move. So, oh, Mr. John, you are not doing it on your tummy, buddy. Not on your tummy, just on your side. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ready? Our kicky leg is up, and we kick out. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice. Okay. Nice work, good work. I know this one's tough, right? What we're trying to do is make sure that we stay sideways this way. So the other part when we do our turning kick is our knee stays back. Hard to see what I face you guys this way. So my knee is here, but I pull it back when I kick it. Okay, so it's only my foot that's moving across. So now we're gonna do side kicks, but we wanna hit with the heel. This part of the foot back here. So now I pull my knee in, I kick straight line this way, right towards the camera. That's it. So we're going to kick out. Yeah, and parents or siblings, if we're helping, we want to make sure that the hip and the knee are moving, not just the knee. Okay, ready? Let's do some side kicks. We're going to do five on each leg. Have good control, body up. Miss Daniela, are you sleeping? Are you having a nap? Are you tired? Come on, girl. Stay, yeah, it's that one punch you made us do. That was the one that fatigued you. Okay, ready? Knee is up. This dude's got to come closer. My legs aren't that long. One, and I'm in. Two. So always bring this knee back towards my shoulders. Three, and I bring my knee back in. Four, and I bring it back in. And Five. Good. Let's change your legs. Got to go to the other side. Miss Danielle, it looks like you're napping. Body up. Be strong. Who's helping you? Is that Leo? Yeah. Tell Leo hello from us. We miss Leo. Ready? Leg up. And we kick out. One. Knee up to your shoulders. Two. Knee up. And three. Knee back. Four, nice kicks, Dominic. Five, and back. Nice work. Awesome job, you guys. Those are good kicks. Okay, so part of the control comes from our body. We have to control our body and what it's doing. So if I throw my punch, I throw it really strong. Is my hand kind of floppy and loosey-goosey? Is it like overcooked spaghetti? Ugh, it's so gross, right? But it's not strong. You want it to be strong like concrete, okay? 
but also when we do our kicks, we want to make sure that we're using both parts of our leg, okay, our bottom part and our upper part. You got to have that control of it, okay? So here's your your homework for this week. Can you work it for your green stripe, which is for your control? Uh, let's see, Mr. Joseph, this is for you. And Aurora, this is for you. And Bryson, this is for you. Uh, oh, by the way, Mr. Bryson, I saw your video from last week of you cleaning up. That was awesome, John. I like it. Um, so for our control, you must run and stop on command. So it works kind of like this. If I'm going to run, so I can run forwards. I can run backwards, or I can run sideways, which is really sort of a side shuffle this way. Okay, but I do it until my helper, my instructor, my parents say stop. So they say go, and I shuffle sideways. They say stop, I stop within three steps. So if I'm doing this and I'm running forward, watch. I'm going to start way back here. If I say go and I run, and they say stop, and I just keep running, is that good control? Joseph's all panicked. Looked like Mr. O is 3D. That was bad control, right? I didn't stop when I should have stopped. Got to have control. So that's for you three. You guys got to do that. Uh, green belts, purple belts, and blue belts. So John, uh, Athena, I think that's it. Right? Uh, for control, you guys have to have stuff thrown at you and you have to dodge five times. So it could be a dodgeball, could be a pillow, nothing that's going to be too hard if it hits you. So not like a hammer or a wrench or a piece of wood or anything like that. It would hurt if it hits you. Don't do that. But just like a dodgeball or socks. Socks are always good to dodge. Or brown red and yellow with black or orange with black. So this is Mr. Nixon, um, Ms. Danielle, and Ms. Catalina. For you guys, your control, switching your feet. So we're gonna be one leg back, one leg forward. Your helpers are gonna ask you to switch your feet one time. Or they may say twice. Or they may say three times. One, two, three. Okay, whatever they ask, you do it. They're gonna do it five different times. You keep switching your feet till it's done. Mr. Dominant, for you, your control is your self-defense. Because you're in the next grouping. So yours is single hand wrist grab. Okay? So I'm gonna borrow Miss Jill and I'll show you what this looks like. And you, everybody else, you guys can practice this stuff too if you want to, okay? This isn't like that super secret ninja stuff. We can all do it. But what happens is, Miss Jillian's going to grab my right hand with her right hand. If she's grabbing with my left hand with her left hand, it's still okay. Still the same thing. But what we're going to do is we're going to go up. If my hand is up, and I step towards the side that she's grabbing. So I step towards my left. If she grabs my right, my hand goes which way? Does it go down or does it go up? What do you think, Dominic? Hand has to go up. And I step to the direction she's grabbing. So I'm stepping that way. Okay? So they step towards her hand. Okay? So again, she got my left. My hand goes which way? It's got to go up. And I got to go to the same side she's grabbing. She's grabbing with her left. I step towards the left. And I go down after that. Now, if... So Dominic, say your dad's doing this practice with you, and maybe dad grabs you a little bit firm because he's got pretty, he's got pretty big hands. He's a big man. So if he grabs really hard, here's what you do, but don't do this too hard. Don't do this too hard. Watch. Boom! Kick to the leg, hand goes up, and go to that same side. But don't kick your dad for real, though. Okay? So that's your homework, Dominic. That's your dream shot. Don't kick your dad for real, though. I'm saying this on video, so if I get a, a complaint from your dad saying, Dominic kicked me really hard, I'm coming after you. I'm coming for you. Right to your house. I'll get you. Okay? I said I'm nice and tall, everybody. So remember, no classes next week at all. No online classes. We are moving to school. 
We put the last pieces of trim in today. Now we have some painting that we've got to do and a couple other little things, but oh my goodness, it looks so good. I'm so excited about it. And I'm almost ready to stop painting forever in my entire life. Unless you need help painting, um, I'll come and help you paint if you need help, but I let me know. Ready, stand up nice and tall. Let's do our 10 or breathing exercise. Hands together, nice and warm. On the count of three, two, one. Breathe in, love, family, enthusiasm, romance, desire, faith, hope, passion, vision in, out of your body, fear, worry, anxiety, hatred, revenge, negative thinking, superstition, and blame. All good things in. Anything I don't need, just let it go. Breathe in, love, compassion, forgiveness, abundance, courage, and encouragement for myself. And I breathe out, love, compassion, forgiveness, abundance, courage, and encouragement for everyone we come in contact with. Thank you guys so much for hard work. Face to the front. Good year. Like one. All right, one. Big high five. Three, two, one. Boom. Don't hit the camera. Nice job, everybody. All right, have a good rest of your day. Don't forget to end in your homework. Peace out, guys.